All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's get right into it, man. Look, man, y'all already know what today's topic is, the wager culture. But before we get to that, I want y'all to give it up for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Coming to you a little bit more reserved today, and I'm going to tell y'all why in a second. Lie! With another video, man. Look, man, before we get started, man, this is what I want y'all to do. Go over to Breeze Tees. Check out my new stuff. Uh, get your tees in the Breeze when you're rocking with Breeze Tees, man. Look, you can get custom shirts, custom face masks, custom whatever. You can put whatever you want to, man. We even got the Kobe Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, and we got the JJ Reddick Shooter Shoot. It's up here. You know, it's, it's all good, man. You know, whatever y'all want. Got the Kobe Infinity Gauntlet joint. Somebody asked me to put that in the store. Should I just put this in the store? Like, if I get something and I make something for myself that's flavor, should I just put it in the store for y'all so y'all don't even have to find the picture and stuff like that? Because somebody asked me to put the Infinity Gauntlet in the store. I'm going to put it in the store. It'll be in there probably by the time this video goes up. But uh, that's number one thing I want y'all to do for me, man. If you like teas and you want to do some your own custom tea, all that good stuff, do that. Also, look. I'm looking for some theme music, man. So what I want y'all to do, man, I'm leaving the link in the description to Epidemic Sound. You can go to Epidemic Sound and you can find, like, this is this is where I get all my royalty-free beats and stuff like that. I want y'all to go over here to Epidemic Sound, go through these joints. Um, let's find something upbeat because I'm trying to look for some theme music for myself. I like this song that we're using right now, but I don't know if it's really going to, you know, rock with everything that I do. I'm gonna use this for the time being. But, you know, let's let's find some music for the back. Cause you know how Joe Knows got his own music. Brutus and them got his own music. Phantoms, all them guys. Everybody seem to have their own type of theme music, but I don't have mine. So like, uh, let's let's see what we can do. I wanna use this background music just for the time being. But when we get, when we get going, you know, I wanna do this. So I wanna try to find some stuff. Just tweet the stuff to me, tweet it at me. Uh, you know, just find whatever track you want and uh, whatever the name is, and tweet it at me, DM me on Instagram, whatever it is that you want to do. But just go through and see what y'all think might be the best for, like, like Raging with Randoms, and I use it on Raging with Randoms today, and, and stuff like that. But anyway, man, that ain't what we're here to talk about. What we are here to talk about is this, man. Last night, Ticino. Let's just read what it says, man. 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Annoying. It's super confident, and it's put up 12.5K of his own money against me. I put up 2.5 originally and then step back rack. I don't even know who that is. Somebody got to tell me who that is, man. Uh, wanted to put up 10, uh, wanted to put put in on me, uh, 10 grand on me as well. So it's essentially 12.5 USD equals $25,000 pot. See y'all then. And um, see them there, we did. And uh, how it went, bro, not even going to lie to you. It was uh, it was hella entertaining. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I like watching wagers, but I don't like watching wagers for the reason that y'all think I might like watching wagers. I don't care about the money part. I just like seeing good people play good people. That's it. I want to see good players against good players. That's why a lot of people are talking about how the wager culture is, is saving the game. I don't think the I don't think it's the wager culture that's saving the game. I think it's more that that we're seeing good players play good players. Nobody want to see people play bombs all day. It's just like you got some people like 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 look just like nobody want to see my my fake news all day. Nobody want to see people cherry pick cherry pick games and play against bombs all day and show you the games where they just you know they just won against somebody like that look at that big boy trades i mean look at big green big boys big green nobody want to see you cherry pick games all day and just put up your best games people want to see you actually play some competition and be like bro that stuff that you're doing ain't gonna work against like like this right here the stuff that these guys doing man these these guys probably be winning but uh that stuff not gonna work against somebody that actually knows how to play the game or whatever like we ran up against some guys last night that were playing and they um oh yeah trades up green bean money team splash down look we played against some guys yesterday and they were playing the uh they were in the center iso bro you think i'm gonna guard the center iso or no nah. we gonna let t mizzle who got the new guard with the interior defense up to the ceiling guard the dude on the, and he got post move lockdown all that we're gonna let him guard the iso and then we're going to let my boy Breezy, who's got the, the taller version of it, we're going to let him guard the ISO. They're going to play the top if you want to play size. I'm going to guard the dude in the corner. And then if you keep switching and switching, get that shot out of here 100% smothered. 
if y'all if they try to do something else then i'm not gonna like we, we ain't gonna do that we don't want to see that we want to see you play against top notch competition i think that's what it is because like when tysino did his world tour last year I, I i like that's what it was it was like uh i don't know what it is another hundred percent smother man i was in my bag last night but um like when people we don't we just that people just get tired of seeing that they just get tired of seeing you play against bombs and all that stuff even though this is what i'm doing right now but like we they just know a lot of people are like bro you wouldn't be able to pull that off against a real player and so when you're playing you're seeing good people play against good people that's why the apex tournaments are high that's why uh call of duty tournaments are, are always uh hot that's why all these tournaments are always hot because people get to see you play against prime time competition people don't want to see people play against bombs all day long they want to see you playing with something on the line when you're having a chance to lose 99 percent of the time we play on stream there's no chance for us to lose we playing against people that that, that are in the chat or we playing against something like that there's no chance and so it's like that's why because when tacino did his world tour what happened? People tuned in last year, and there was really no money on the line, just his money on the line from going around. So that's why I'm saying I don't think it's wages that's saving the game. I think it's just people playing against good people. Look at the Mo Buckets Invitational. That that got that got mad views, and and ain't nobody. There was no money on the line other than what Mo was giving out. And so that's why I'm saying I don't think it's that. I just think it's just like they, you just get to see people play against people that that are that are actually decent. Because think about it, in your mind. You're thinking, well, if he's playing against somebody and it's a wager, these people must be good. That's all it is. If it was, if you put Tysino versus, you know, somebody and it's a name, it's going to do numbers. But when you put the wager in there and it's something on the line, you're at least expecting that the people that they're going to be playing is, are good. And a lot of these guys, sometimes they just get washed. <laughs> they just get 41 like, uh, like last night. They get 41 like Rat did last night. And that's crazy because that amount of money that they putting up, man, Bro, I ain't got twelve and a, I ain't got twelve and a half liquid. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I barely got two and a half liquid, and it ain't got nothing to do with how much money I make because I make good money. I take care of my family, and I'm the primary provider for my family. When you when you live on your own, and you got stuff. Look, let me just run down the list of things that I just had to do this summer. This during this whole whole epidemic pandemic season. These are the things that I had to do. 2500 on a new computer now uh, 900 plus for bridget computer she got a laptop it was really 1600 dollars. we caught it on sale because somebody had got it and they messed up the drivers and the drivers just got screwed up and so i had to i had to uh i would have charged 600 to fix it anyway probably so you know it is what it is air conditioning went out of my truck air conditioning went out of my house had to get both both of those fixed i had to get a new heat press for my business so new heat press that was 900 dollars. doggone we got a new deck built that was like a grand did i already say that i don't know i don't, I don't even know if i said that um i'm just going down this list right here uh let me see let me see two of my machines i had to get two new machines for making t-shirts from a t-shirt business truck detail that was like a buck 50. them two machines was like a grand like i, I bought a cricket maker and i bought a cam a silhouette cameo and then the tools to go along with it truck detail that was like a buck 50. that ain't nothing i bought a laser etching machine so that i can i can etch on um i can etch on leather and stuff like that you know that was that was a pretty penny uh and then rock Ooh, get up motherfucker Woo! motherfucker get up you know what i'm talking about and then various projects around the house man that costs over a grand bro you put all that together that's over ten thousand dollars probably 15 with the air conditioning and stuff the thing is like i said when i say i don't gamble i don't gamble because i got too many real life things now look them guys i ain't counting nobody pockets because them them guys pockets different than mine i'm not even gonna lie to you but i'm just saying that even if i had it man i just don't know that i would be i, I don't know if i would gamble it out I'm not going to lie to you just because I know that anything can happen at any time. And with that being the case, I, I don't trust it. I don't trust, especially on this game, especially, bro, especially gambling on this game. Why are you going to gamble on this game? Let me show y'all something, man. <laughs> let me, let me show y'all something. And then we're going to let y'all get up out of here, man. Because of all the games to gamble on, 2K? NBA 2K, where you can lose a game. Let me find. I gotta go to Twitch real quick, man, and find my um. No, no, no. I think uh, NBA 2K Insider did it. Hold on, one second. I just want to show y'all something, and then I'm gonna let y'all get up out of here, man. What we at? We barely at ten minutes. Where my clips at? I gotta find my clips, man. 
Uh, J Easy. Uh, clips. How can I find my clips? I just need to find my clips real quick. Maybe NBA 2K Insider did it or something like that. I I put it in the disc. Did I put it in Discord? Let me see if I open up Discord real quick. Cause I got to show y'all this, man. Y'all gonna be amazed. Well, you're not gonna be amazed because it's 2K. Because if you didn't see it, if you didn't see it, this is what annoying lost on right here. Green. Brother, I'm sorry. Look at this. This is the, what? Two people right there, spin, green, fade away from three. Bro, if you beat me on this shot right here, you gotta come see me. It's on site. Look at this. It's on site. We gotta run the ones when I see you. 12 grand, $25,000 pot. And that's what you beat me on? This is what 2K beat me on? Run it, it's on site. What are you talking about? And this is the game that y'all, y'all want me to bet on this? Hey, look, I got a $50 wage of the day, man. Me and T, somebody come on, we'll run a $50 wage of the day. <laughs> I get T and Breezy or somebody else, and the T and Mad, somebody, I don't know. But look, this is what y'all want me to bet on? What did, what did it even say? And it probably said wide open. Look at this. Look at this. Spin, shot, 4%. Excellent. Is Rail not right there in his face? Rail probably ain't got no uh, per perimeter defense in his build, though. Is Rail not right there? It's two people right there, in my opinion. Hall of Fame intimidator on both of them. Pull. Bucket. Let me tell you something, man. You think I'm betting on a game where you can do this right here? Bucket. You can do that with confidence with 25,000 on the line, bro. Let me show y'all what would happen if that, if if that, you hit that shot on me. This is what's, this is what's gonna happen right here, bro. This is what's gonna happen you hit that shot on me. This is what's gonna happen. You hit a shot like that on me for 25 grand. Sweet chin music. <laughs> Followed by spear. Oh my lord, the spear from hell. And then, then you ain't gonna see it in here, but right hands. Oh my lord, he's hit him with the kendo stick. <laughs> he's got it. Right hands. Right hands. Oh, closed line from hell. Like this, this it's got to happen like this. RKO! I mean, no, no, Edge. What's the Edge move? I forgot what Edge move was, man. I forgot what Who's it is. Whose cigarettes are these? Bro, it can't be over. Like, this is what has to happen if somebody hits a shot like that on me for the game for 25 grand. I can't let it go. Pull up, drink. Headshot, drink. All of that, man. It's, it's just sauce, man. Ooh, don't slip good, buddy. Definitely slip, man. Ah! Boom. And that's what's gotta happen right now, man. We can't just let it go. I can't let that slide. 25 grand and you styling on me? You're styling on me for the game? Like this? And you Glenn Rice me? You 41 me? Bro, nah. <laughs> nah. Fourth ray fade, cash. Pipe it up, I got the price on reserves active. Nah, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Would y'all ever get into it? Even if you make it. I, I know they got the money, and I know they're making the money back hand over fist tenfold. But my heart of hearts, I just know that how my life and my luck goes, I just can't do that. Dude is out there replacing my door right now. They say when they built this house, they didn't even put no bolts in the door. Somebody could have just came up there, just snatched it off. Like, that's how my luck goes. It ain't just on Apex. So, you know, hey, look, my YouTube still ain't blowing up or none of that, none of that stuff. It is what it is, man. I, I can't do it, man. Like, my, my heart of hearts, 12 grand. Whew. Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Like I said, I know they're making this back, and that and that 12 grand is like less than a month's salary for these guys, man. I ain't counting nobody's pockets, but it's just for me. 
and me it's a no for me dog y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section though man would you do it even if you was making that much money i think that a hundred dollar bet is still interesting for me <laughs> so now i probably stay around those areas where it's just pocket chump change for 12 grand a twenty five thousand dollar pot and then after that rat came and bet back a ten thousand dollar wager and lost that one too and then he played rail i think he lost that one too boy he, hey he was down bad last night but like i said he got it though so it, it ain't like it's it ain't like it's hurting him or nothing like that i don't got it I can't count nobody's pocket, but all I'm saying is, mm -mm, not not your boy. Even if I had, I, I don't think I would do that, man. But like I said, I never been in that position, so I can't tell you what I would do. I probably would just for the fans, just for entertainment and stuff like that. But I I, I don't see myself doing it. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out of here till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Dots. Hey.